I thought that you had it, what was it, what was the line there? We had it made, uh, no, actually it's gone from my brain. But it's very, very strange. First time I've done that, and then fellas, yeah. Oh, anyway, you, you get the drift, you know, like, he's given her everything, and you know, she gave her nothing, she's given him nothing in return. Okay, it's another song, contemporary with that last one. This was written for me by an Irish songwriter by the name of Len O'Connell, and it's called Midnight in New Orleans. The right from Memphis. I couldn't find those Beale Street boys. They all moved to Chicago. They got miles to be a man. Driving down Highway 61, I was thinking, Brother Jensen, you were the one. You sowed the seeds of a lovely baby. Just about a broke that Take a walk down Bourbon Street. The bookers and hustlers just shrug their keep. They call it the grand, but it moves its way. Everybody's looking for something to do up there. When I look at the world, the moon drops over the sea.
I'm getting re ready for my debut next week in King Lear. <laughs> Looking at having a very skinny Des... No, it wasn't Desdemona in that one, was it? No, Cordelia. Yeah, very skinny Cordelia for that one. Ah. Oh my God! The band have all run away. <laughs> I like to do this little part of the evening because it sort of takes me back 45 years to when I started out playing and singing. Back in those days, uh, um, I didn't, apart from an occasional guest appearance with a trad band like Chris Barber or Ackerbill, I didn't really ever get to play with any bands and didn't even have microphones in those days, I don't think. Yeah, need yeah. <laughs> we didn't need them. I mean, that's how I learned to shout. And uh, it was always wise to get the, the loudest acoustic guitar you'd get. You know. <laughs> singer Maggie Bell back in 1971 on a Warner Brothers album called It Ain't Easy and finally Warner Brothers are bringing it out in CD format I think in sometime in the next month together with the, the album we did the following year um, Everything Stops at Sea so that's something for you to look for in the meantime I do have a new album out um, it's called Remembering Lead Belly which has all the much of Led Belly's music. I think I, I ended up putting 16 tracks on the CD, but of course, there's only just a drop in the ocean of the tunes associated with Led Belly. Um, but uh, I believe there might be a few copies of that available in the foyer. 
So if you've got any change left over after you've had your imbibing after the show, um, our lady, yes, Gladys is her name, isn't it? I think. Um, tall blonde woman. Um, very, very, very personable lady. She's got uh, boxes of albums out there. You can also buy uh, Robin Ford albums too. And Petula Clark and uh, Alan <laughs> Story. Down calls me. 
Microphone there, I think of a person's head. <laughs> I, do, I do have problems with my eyesight. I keep thinking it's Robbie Williams there. <laughs> Which reminds me, how do you tell the difference between a Spanish fighting ball and Robbie Williams and his band? Does anybody here know? Well, apparently, on a Spanish fighting ball, the horns are out front and the arsehole is behind. <laughs> I, I try to sort of be, you know, be, um, you know, sometimes, uh, uh, what's the word, you know, it's current and up to date, see, it's, 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 I think it's all, I think it's all the invention of the media, really, all this, of him wooing Rod's ex-wife, you know, and it's, 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 I'm not even sure whether she is his ex-wife, it's all very confusing to me. I don't think they, I didn't think they've exchanged divorce papers yet, but anyway. <laughs> Strange things. Strange things. Stranger things have happened, including me having hit parade uh, success. It did happen once, you know, 35 years ago. <laughs> it did. It did. Um, in fact, uh, so much so that uh, certain people at the immigration department here in the New Zealand government wouldn't allow me in unless I guaranteed that I would sing this song every night during the tour, so I, I, I'm forced to have to do it. <laughs> Nothing to do with the blues, but I mean, it's the same voice. I sound like a bag of rusty nails, no matter what I do. Anyway, come and help me out. We have Erna Ferry to come along. Are you there, Erna? <laughs> yes, Erna Ferry. Sometimes sounds like Dinah Washington, I think. I was saying that today. I said that only this afternoon. Huh? And if you feel like joining in on this chorus and joining in Erna, uh, lending your voices to Erna, it would be make it even, even more lovely, I think. So let the heartaches begin. I was a fool to turn my love away And with each glass of wine, I'll feel a glow And very soon I know I was a fool to let my baby go So let Holding each other tight. 
they dance on the turn of the morning light. The soft embraces that they seem to share just make me feel well at the loneliness that I find so hard to bear. So
Uh, this next song is from a, a brand new album called Blue Moon, and it's dedicated to Mr. B.B. King, named after his hometown, Indianola, it's in Mississippi.
Thank you very much. And we're going to bring Erna Ferry back out to sing with me on this next number. This is also from Blue Moon. This song is called Yay! Don't Deny Your Love. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much. Uh, this next song was written by Willie Dixon, uh, probably in the 70s, I would think. I'm not sure, but I saw him do it on television uh, years ago. And I always wanted to uh, find it. Finally, somebody found it for me and sent it to me. Uh, it's a beautiful song called It Don't Make Sense. Thank you. 
young lady trans you that can save a life. Even change the darkness in the broad daylight. Make a deaf man hear and the dumb man speak. But it don't make sense, you can't make me. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It can't make peace. You can't make peace. Thank you. 